with the corona being gone, uh, it was very nice. We did a long bunch of festivals and uh, we only had like one piece of luggage lost the whole summer, which I think is amazing. So I think you are generally happy with the summer too, right? Yeah, I was loving it. It was great to get back on. It was, all, you know, those were real summers as well when we were not out. But yeah, getting back to Wacken and places like this was, of course, you know, back to the saddle. It was beautiful. been really good uh, and of course when you release something you never quite know what the reaction will be but uh, it's been very good uh, I think we have got like a bunch of 10 out of 10 reviews and 9 out of 10 9.5 out of 10 and uh, when you do these interviews and you talk to people and they are really happy and of course it kind of makes it worthwhile because it is a bit of a pain in the ass to record an album right and record so of course it's kind of rewarding but I don't know have you heard any good feedback? Yeah, just Google it. Everybody's loving it. Apparently, it's the best album we did in tens of years. Uh, something like that, 10 I or mean, 20. No, no matter who says what, just listen to it and make up your own mind. But at least, you know, we love it and are, are playing a bunch of it on shows. So that's, I guess, the most important part that we and the others, you know, fans are having a good time. Yeah, it's difficult when you make this. I mean, I'm sure, you know, the Metallica, they love this, like Lulu, when they made it. They go like, oh, this is really nice. And then people hate it. But in this case, I think we, we both think it's good ourselves and people also like it, uh, which is a nice feeling. It's like an extra bonus when people also like it. Um, so, yeah, so far the feedback has been very good. It's the hometown, right? Home, home. I can walk in 10 minutes to my home, so what's good about it is that between soundcheck and show, I can uh, go home and sit on my couch. Yeah, I think I can, since I'm an outsider here, 
I could sense there's a certain tension field around all these Finnish people when they play the capital, you know, it's like a, a gig in the hometown. And of course, since it's sold out, it's a special feeling. Uh, I don't know how many times I've played here in, in Tavastia. It must be like 20 or 25 times with Stradivarius alone. Um, so it's always a nice feeling. And you see the backstage here. It's like a very special feeling here. People's graffiti and you know, it has like a heritage to it. So yeah, it's really cool. Tavastian, Helsinki. So, like, You're not an outsider. You've been here for years. Yeah, yeah but I don't have this t- same thing that you guys. Oh, it's Helsinki. You know what happens? Like, oh, is it sold out or not? Like, what will people think? Uh, for me, it's more more of another gig. But of course, it's special still. <laughs> This year we do like a short Finnish tour, a short and short. It's like a month, but it's like the weekends of a month. Uh, and before, after that, is there something else? Like December goes into December and uh, then it's like Christmas, I guess. That's it. Like we're already now in November, so there's not so much left of the year. Um, but yeah, I guess we, we do this Finnish tour now, starting here in Helsinki. and. Uh, it goes on every weekend. We have some secret plans on the spring, but then on April we will go to Latin America, starting from uh, Bogota, Colombia, and do a nice, uh, uh, a bit longer, I guess, Latin American tour, which will be awesome, combining festivals and, and club shows. So some dates are announced and some are still coming, but that's, of, of course, you know, after Corona, what you're wait, waiting the most was sort of summer summer gigs and also getting back to Latin America because that's always awesome. Ian Staden, meillä on ihan jumalattoman mutovaa täällä tänään. 